What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. We once again have a lot of breaking news. This is now potential tropical cyclone two, soon to be tropical uh, tropical storm right here. We, have, you guys can see with all this convection, this thing's really bubbled up in the last few hours. You can see we're seeing these minus seventy to minus eighty cloud tops just firing off. Uh, more consistently now than they have been and this is now approaching the windward islands at around 15 to 20 miles per hour so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the nhc they, we now have tropical storm warnings in a lot of places we have a tropical war storm warning for the isle de Ma uh, margarita uh, coche uh, uh, cu uh, cubaga cubagua in venezuela uh, the netherlands has issued a tropical storm warning for bonaire uh, the go uh, the government of Curcao uh, has issued a tropical storm warning for that uh, for the island. Aruba has issued a tropical storm warning for their whole island. Trin uh, Trinidad and Tobago is now in a tropical storm warning. Grenada is in a tropical storm warning as well. And we can take a look at this at the cone. We have tropical storm warnings from Trinidad and Tobago to Grenada to Venezuela to Aruba. Uh, and Curcao right here. And we are now also expecting this thing to strengthen into a hurricane before it makes landfall in Nicaragua later this week. So we need to talk about all of this, but before before we do, we need to see what's going on with the latest from the NHC. The maximum steam winds are near 40 miles per hour. The pressure's down to 1,009 millibars. Tropical storm force winds extend outward 60 miles from the center. Formation uh, chance in the next 48 hours is still at 70%. So we need to keep this in mind. Because once this thing fully develops, this is going to be a tropical storm. So I want everyone to pay attention to this. I want everyone to take this seriously. So we're gonna go. We already went over the current storm information. Maximum radius of of winds 50 nautical miles or 60 or 60 miles, uh, according to the NHC. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the intensity and the tracks of this. Before we before we do, let's talk about the tracks because we have some longer range models that now have this going out in uh, the in the uh, Pacific Ocean right here. We're seeing the majority of them having them go um, cross through Nicaragua into the Pacific Ocean, where it could potentially reintensify into a strong tropical storm or a weak hurricane. But again, that's too far far uh, uh, too far out. Excuse me, to really make that conjecture at this time. The intensity though. We're looking at potential hurricane strength, and if it's not happening now, it's potentially going to be happening uh, later in the week. So the majority of the miles right here have this uh, at either a borderline tropical storm or hurricane, or a high-end category one uh, as well. Now the SHIP is going way off of a limb here and have, has this thing going at category four strength. I want to say that that is a bit outlandish right there. Because if you if we take a look at this, yes, this thing is developing really quickly. I am I am noticing that, but it's not developing to the point where we're going to see a massive Category Four hurricane before it makes landfall. Uh, it's just the rest of it. The rest of the models and all the indications do not indicate that. What we're looking at, and I've predict, and I've pre I'm predicting this. We're looking at a system between 60 and 90 miles per uh, per hour at its basically at its peak. That's my estimate right there. Uh, as it's going through, I, if, I think it's going to be, be a potentially a Category 1 hurricane when it makes landfall in Nicaragua. The question is how strong, and is saying 75 to 80 miles per hour. It, anything can happen because if we take a look at the wind shear, I've, been keep, I've kept saying this, it's open season out here. There's very little wind shear limiting this thing to, uh, to basically uh, rapidly intensify at this point. The only thing that's going to stop it is if it gets in its own way and if it stops organizing this quickly. That's the only thing that, uh, that's going to get in its way. If we take a look at the temperatures, a nice warm 28 to 29 degrees of warm water right there. We're looking at like 83, 84, potentially 80, uh, 85 degrees in some, of these, in some areas of, of warm water right here. So everyone needs to understand this and pay attention. Uh, pay attention. If you're in Trinidad and Tobago, if you're in Grenada, if you're in Aruba, if you're if you're in Curcao, if you're in any of these areas under these tropical storm watches and warnings, I want you to take this very seriously, and I want you to share this video with as many people as you can, because we need to spread the word that this is going on, and we need to spread the word as this is a potential threat to life and property. Now it's not going to cause. It's likely not going to cause too much damage because it's only a tropical storm as it approaches. The storm surge is going to be there, but it's not going to be as much. But people need to take this seriously, as there's going to be very heavy rainfall with this, and there's going to be a threat to potential flooding. 
That being said, let's go ahead and get to the uh, to the models right here. We're going to talk about the H mod. We're potentially going to use the GFS. We are definitely using the CMC, and we're going to talk about the H wharf. We're going to look first run the H mod. You can see the H mod's a little bit wonky. I'm not understanding why that is, uh, but we're going to go ahead and use this. Uh, it's a little wonky. It's passing through. It slowly intensifies as it's uh, as it basically goes through Aruba, through Trinidad and Tobago passes north of Venezuela, and then it starts to really ramp up in intensity right here into a strong tropical storm and then a hurricane as it's approaching Nicaragua. It's expected to make landfall, according to the HMON, with potentially winds up to 85 miles per hour and a pressure of 985 millibars, which I think is I think is very feasible at this point. Uh, Nicar it's going to hit Nicaragua. It's going to, uh, according to the HMON, it's going to cross through Honduras and then make landfall in Belize, which... Either way, if it's going to make landfall in Nicarag Nicaragua, there's going to be a hu potentially huge flooding threat with this, consider uh, considering all the hills and mountains and uh, all the areas that are around there. So with that being said, that's the HMON right there. We're going to go ahead and use go to the CMC right here to see what they're saying right here. CMC has something different. It has it making landfall on in Venezuela, just south of Trinidad and Tobago. Weakens it a little bit makes landfall several times actually, and then it starts to slowly intensify into a strong tropical storm. It makes landfall in southern uh, Nicaragua right here, and then it crosses into the Pacific Ocean, and then it starts to get its act together, potentially strengthens to a hurricane, and that's where we are right there. So once again, 60 to 90 mile per hour uh, system is gonna make landfall in Nicaragua. That's where I'm, that's my estimate. I'm going to see what the GFS is saying right here, because the GFS has been acting a bit wonky recently, like it's been kind of all over the place, but it seems like it's, okay, now it's still all over the place, it's, this is not going to be happening, it's not jumping hundreds of miles away from each other, so there are some, there are some issues with this, but even at, but afterward, it has it passing through Venezuela, well, for some reason, and then it goes to Nicaragua, makes landfall, potentially is an 85 mile per hour hurricane, potentially 90 miles per hour, and then it moves through Honduras, Belize, Guatemala, the Yucatan, and basically it's history at that point. So yeah, these majority of these models are agreeing that it's gonna be making landfall as either a strong tropical storm or around a or a category one hurricane around 85, 90 miles per hour. The H wharf is a bit interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Because the H wharf is generally the more aggressive of the models, but it has it only going up to a uh, to a to a category one hurricane at this point. So the H wharf has this potentially making landfall in Trinidad and Tobago, moves uh, through the through Ven the Venezuela right here, through Aruba and all those areas. Then it starts to slowly intensify. It starts to intensify at a rather more quicker pace. Then it, eventually the pressure drops to 979 millibars. Eventually. This thing uh, is expected, if the H wharf is correct, is expected to make landfall in Nicaragua as a Category 2 hurricane with a pressure of 979 millibars. This is it at landfall right here. Like, no matter how strong this hurricane uh, or tropical storm makes landfall, and wherever these places are, there's still going to be that flooding risk right there. And with the potential hills and mountains in Nicaragua and some of these other areas, that's the, that causes the potential for mudslides. So everyone needs to pay very close attention to this and take it very seriously. And then it just kind of meanders through Honduras and uh, basically through Central America. So yeah, that's the latest on potential tropical cyclone two now. So I wanted to make this video uh, kind of giving you guys an update. If more updates come out, I will be reporting on it. But with that being said, it's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out, it helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. You guys have been killing it with the subscribe button. We are closing in on 1,100 subscribers, so be sure to hit that red subscribe button right there for more weather updates like these. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.